Hey, Viral. I don't know how much you know about BeamNG. I'm I'm such a newbie. So um yeah, I'm I'm just uh figuring this out myself and um Okay. Let's get everything set up. Do you know Beam and J at all? First things first, just make sure that audio levels are okay. Quick trial run. And I've already over revved the engine, wonderful. <laughs> That's BeamNG. Quick pracky run and then we're gonna get straight into the rally. This is actually a practice of a first stage. I don't know any of the tracks well. Might have driven them all once or twice and that's about it. Don't know how to adjust the cockpit camera very well. If it can even be adjusted, I don't know if it can. If it can, it'd be nice. I'd like to move the, the position back just a little bit. Could be the lap, okay. Hayward, Stroke Designs, hello. Hayward, do you know anything about Beam? Do you know if we can move the um, cockpit camera around anywhere? Anybody, <laughs> otherwise I'm just going to do it. I don't really have the time, I've got to... I've got to work today. In a, in like a couple of hours. Um, screw it, let's go for it, whatever. Um, so, I need to say... Um, yeah, right on. <laughs> Sounds right, man. How do I create a uh, create Fred? Okay, Fred name, uh, rain dancer AU. Um, uh, rain dancer AU event run. Starting stage one. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Time trials. Okay, we should all be set up. I'll just make sure it's set up correctly. Uh, we've got Mountain Village Circuit. Not reversed, no rolling start, one lap at night. Let's go. <laughs> B 
been fun trying out BMNG. Numb keys, yo! What's up, Brycey? I'll try it. I did say I'm starting stage one. Yes, this is the rear wheel drive and rear engine car. Yes, it is. Now, I did try every single stage. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't mean to start. Oh, well. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going. I just pressed the numpad key, Bryce, and then suddenly the stage was starting. So don't mind me, guys. I'm going to focus for the, like, minute or so of this stage. I'll, um... I'll get back to you guys once I complete the stage. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> I definitely haven't dialed my force feedback in 100%. I just got it working to an acceptable level. It's really nasty on some of these hairpins I, because of a cockpit position. I feel like I can't see through the apex very, very well. That's alright. Ah, uh, and I did get a little bit of engine damage. A 124 for that run. Alright, let's document that. Not my best run. My first run was better! Um... Windows or S. There we go. Could be a box to un... Ah, I gotta unlock the bloody seating position. Right, I'm just gonna quickly document this. There we go. Um, and then I can go to free room, hit the brake, permanent park brake on, and then uh, have a look. Um, hey, Loops! Options camera. Camera. Hey, why did it... Ah, there it is. Wicked. Okay, so I can go to here, and I can go here. And then... Yes! Oh, wonderful. Thank you, thank you kindly. Uh, not that it's any that much better, but all right, stage one done. Um, now where's stage two at? It is... Asphalt Hill Climb, number two.
forward one lap morning. That should be it. So I tried to run this yesterday, um, yesterday afternoon, and um, I couldn't get the clutch working properly. And for some reason, like I, I had my um, handbrake cable for my Fnatic handbrake plugged in. Um, and that always gave some phantom input for the handbrake, but I never bound the handbrake to anything, so it didn't matter. But for some reason, BeamNG was detecting that um, uh, phantom um, input and thinking it was the bloody clutch. Um, so no matter what I did, I couldn't put it into gear at the start line, like right here, clutch in, into gear, that would stall the car. Um, but yeah. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I got mine sorted, uh, Agassi. Um, the important thing for, um, FFB for me... <laughs> pardon me. Um... So the most important thing... Um, so yeah, I had to invert mine. Um... I, like, I haven't played with this, so I just set strength to 100 and 0, but the most important thing was down here. Um, the update rate limit, and then the update type. Uh, setting that to full, rather than fast. Um, this is what changed everything for me. Um, and that, it, was, it was like that with the uh, club sport as well. Alright, here goes. Now, the, the bitch of a thing here is that you can over rev the engine and damage the engine and you can do that right at the start before you even take off um so here we go all right focusing I do really enjoy BMNG. Yeah, that's much better. I can see through the Apex a lot better now. <laughs> she doesn't have much power, but rear engine, rear wheel drive, tiny tires, you can still get some slip. I don't even know how many gears this has got, if it's an open diff, I've got no idea about this car that I'm driving. I know it's rear-engined, you can see that from the um, exterior cam. Oh shit, okay bro, it goes like that. Okay, 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 okay. A lot of fun though.
Proper adrenaline, I love it. Ah, <laughs> uh, much better time that that time than, than the first time I ran it. <sighs> hey, Para. I've I've always loved uh, BMNG. Just uh, haven't you know been able to de dedicate that time. Going to the theater club. <laughs> okay, there's. Stage two. I mean, I, I I don't expect to to get any fast times, but I expect to have a heap of fun. All right, where's the next one? Now the gravel one start, yeah. Mm. Uh, gravel hill climb two reverse noon. Gravel hill climb two. Reverse, yes, and noon. What's wrong, Para? Yeah, I I, I love the uh, simulation in um in Beam. You know, it's it's got all the you can overheat, you can kill your clutch, um. You know, individual bits of the engine get damaged. Like first, the valve train starts going. Um, yeah. It's great. It's great. I think I want to play around with the force feedback a little bit more, but um, in general, yeah, very cool. Um, so, uh, Para, do you know how to? Um, Oh yeah, absolutely. Para, do you know how to uh, adjust the... Um, I was doing well with seat position, like so, W-A-S-D. Uh, page up and page down, okay, that's good. Can I move left and right? I'm not... I think there was like a shift page up, page down. Something, there was a way to zoom in and out. Ah, screw it, let's just run. This is good enough, this is good enough. Hey, touchdown! Trying the new concept and loving it so far stage free and um i am properly focused running because it, it's beam ng like for anyone who um who uh, gets concerned about hardcore damage in um <laughs> in dirt rally 2 it's got nothing on beam Gravel in a little rear wheel drive. You need to give proper respect to Beam. Oh my god, and the motion rig. I don't know how well my motion rig is dialed in either. So at least I can. Blame the motion rig. Maybe. Part of my book of excuses. If things don't go so well. I think I do need to crank the force feed back up just a little bit. 
and maybe dial in some smoothness because I can feel a little bit of graininess. But I can live with it for now. I love the, um, the undulations. Oh, okay. <laughs> so goddamn nerve wracking. I love it. Ah, oh, great. There's um, somebody with a metal grinder outside my window at 7 a.m. Lovely. Oh, it's 8 a.m. probably, but still. That's a way to make friends. I remember, actually, I think right here there's a nasty hairpin that I didn't see very well on my first time. Yeah, this is it. I haven't terminaled yet, though, even in my practices. Where the hell does the road go? Over rev, I think I damaged the engine there a little bit. I'm used to cars with rev limiters that protect the engine. <laughs> I've only driven a car without a rev limiter in real life once and I was very, very ginger with it. Ooh. Why would you grind metal at 8 a.m.? Why would you do it?
<sighs> ah. Nice. A hey, plow. Yeah, yeah, I keep I keep over having a way more, way more Dark Soulsy, yeah, for sure, than than DR2. I love it though. Uh, um, touchdowns. You should see what happens when you actually get um uh, damage. Good lord. Um, yeah, the damage is, is so intense. Ooh, okay. Hill climb, mixed, okay, 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 okay. Time trial. Mixed hill climb. Mixed hill climb. There it is. Mixed hill climb. Forward afternoon. It says four mixed hill climb forward afternoon. <sighs> yeah, I, 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 I'll typically over rev with um, some of my uh, more dramatic um, downshifts, like third to first, for instance. Um, that's typically where, what will happen. Um, even like, um, games that have the old, uh, Turbo F1, uh, cars that don't have rev limiters as well. Um, yeah, I over rev those all the time. All right. <laughs> Clutch in. Um, what I've tried, um, viral. So, so viral. What what we're doing here is we're doing a, a special event. Um, that's um Fireball TX set up, and there's specific stages that we have to do in specific cars. And shit, I just stalled it. Um, so there's specific events and specific cars. What I have done when I first got BeamNG is I also got automation at the same time. Um, and uh, um, I built replicas of cars that didn't exist in any other games. Uh, things like Nissan 240RS, um, Lancia FEMA 832, um, things like that. I made a couple of uh, replicas using automation and I imported them into uh, BeamNG and drove them. Um, that's the main thing I've done with BeamNG. I've, I've got like six hours in this game, so I, I don't have a lot of time in it. So doing playing around with the standard BeamNG cars, I've done almost nothing. <sighs> All right, let's go. That grinding is getting on my nerves, actually. It is so loud.
Uh oh. That was close. I overshot that one uh, last time as well. So is that, I've, I've done one practice on this. And yeah, that. Oh shit. I wonder if I flat spotted my tires. It's just constant grinding. Like he's, it's like it's not, he's not even stopping. I don't know what the hell he's cutting through. Like, yeah, since I said it's getting on my nerves, it hasn't actually stopped. That, that noise has just been a constant like cutting noise going Maybe, maybe it's a chainsaw? Nah, it's not a chainsaw. Finally stopped. Nope, still going. Now it stopped. It's so distracting. So loud and distracting. Like louder than my uh, engine noise in, in my headphones. So it was, ah, oh, here he goes again. Oh, okay. Capture that. 
<laughs> no tire wear, no no flat spotting. Gotcha. That's good to know as well. You guys can't hear the um the power tools in the background, can you? You shouldn't be able to. The noise gate and stuff. Maybe when I'm talking, you can hear it. Yeah, it's 8 a.m. and he's doing that. That's lovely. All right, final stage. Gravel, hill climb one, reverse evening. <laughs> no tire wear, but there's tire damage. Good AGH. I'm I'm very happy you guys can't hear it. Because it is overwhelming. So this one's reverse. And evening. This will be it. I'm I, I'm really enjoying this. I hope we can do more. Um, and I guess there are heaps of uh, mod maps. Like uh, you can do Pike's Peak, um, I believe. I think this even has Nordschleifer, right? I think there's a Nordschleifer mod for this. Um, G'day. <laughs> Desperate for a drink, though. And I'll, I probably will have to um, <clears throat> cut it uh, really soon after finishing. Can I turn my lights on? Yes, I can turn my lights on. All right, guys, let's get this done. Maybe I didn't even practice this one. This looks very, very unfamiliar. <laughs> okay. Or maybe I did this one forward and not reverse when I tried it. Sorry, not reading chat. I can see chat moving, not reading it right now. Not screwing around in BMNG. Yeah, this this feels extremely unfamiliar. Maybe I've done it. Actually, maybe I've done it, yeah. Maybe I was uh, distracted for the first couple of corners and they didn't look familiar this time around. Yeah, this feels familiar. <gasps> Don't die now. How blind is that crest? Do we go straight? Now that didn't feel familiar at all. Neither does this. Did I do the right bloody stage? Oh, I saw over rev risk and I've damaged the engine. Just over rev risk.
no damage yet. remember this stage at all. Maybe I've done it? Fuck. Whoa, I got some rear engine oversteer through there. got the back way too light. That was very scary. I'll go straight. No, this does not- oh! Fuck! This does not feel familiar at all. Did I do the right one? Gravel Hill Climb 1. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, no, no, I, I've never done this one before. Greco! <laughs> the Cinquecento is great! Nord's Mod. I, I, I had to do all of them because I haven't played this game. So I actually had to do it just to make sure shit was working right and that I wouldn't get an, a weird sort of malfunction um, during the actual run. There we go. There we go. Holy crap. Some scary shit. Um... But yeah, guys, that's my run. Um, if any of you guys uh, would like to join in, please um, jump into Barrel Rollers Discord, go to suggestions and feedback or anywhere and, and just voice your um, uh, interest. I think we are going to go mainstream with this. This was just a trial run um, with a couple of people invited uh, to try it out, just to test the logistics with Fireball TX. Um, and yeah this this is amazing fun um and, and i think everyone who's tried it has had a great time um certainly i've enjoyed myself today um but it's almost 8 30 a.m here and and i need to start working at 9 15 a.m so i got 45 minutes to start work so i'm gonna um kill the stream now thank you everyone for joining in um, and I'll be back with Dirt Rally 2 on Twitch with regular schedule and like, um, so 